early sign of dementia, struggling to read simple words. If you often find yourself struggling to read simple words, it could be an early sign of dementia. A delayed brain response to processing words may flag up individuals vulnerable to the neurological disease before symptoms even begin, scientists claim. Researchers hope the findings will pave the way for a simple reading test to identify people at great risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. This would allow an earlier diagnosis of the disease, a goal dedicated scientists have attempted to reach for years, albeit unsuccessfully. The study, led by experts at the University of Birmingham, offer hope of potentially finding a cure for dementia in the coming years. Some 25 participants took part in the trial, which saw them have to read a written word related to a phrase they heard moments before. Brain scans showed that slower responses are apparent in individuals who will go on to develop Alzheimer's disease, the study published in Neuroimage Clinical found. Dr. Katrin Segart, lead author, said, our findings were unexpected as language is usually affected by Alzheimer's in much later stages of the onset of the disease. It is possible this breakdown of the brain network associated with language could be a crucial biomarker used to identify patients likely to develop Alzheimer's. How was the study carried out? Participants were healthy elderly people, along with mild cognitive impairment MCI patients. They were fitted with EEG, electroencephalogram, skull caps. Detecting electrical activity in the brain allows researchers to establish how quickly they process words shown to them on a computer screen. Previous research has found that when a person is shown a written word, it takes 250 milliseconds for the brain to process it, activity which can be picked up on an EEG. What do the experts say? Dr. Hilda Hale, chief executive of Dementia UK, said the charity welcomes anything that can speed up the process of getting a diagnosis of dementia. Claire Walton Research manager at Alzheimer's Society, said research like this give us hope of finding a way to diagnose the disease early on. However, she warned that it was too early to draw any firm conclusions and that larger studies are obviously needed to confirm the theory. MCI is estimated to be suffered by up to 20% of people aged over 65. It is not a type of dementia, but a person with MCI is more likely to go on to develop it. Dementia Smell Tests Dementia can be accurately predicted five years before symptoms develop with a simple smell test, research claimed last month. A study found those who cannot identify at least four out of five common odors were more than twice as likely to develop the disease. And the worse their sense of smell, the bigger the risk of being struck down by dementia in old age, said University of Chicago scientists. The pungent aromas used in the experiment in order of increasing difficulty were peppermint, fish, orange, rose and leather. The findings could be used as an early warning system. This would allow drugs and lifestyle changes, such as a healthy diet and more exercise, to be more effective before the devastating condition takes hold. Dementia, the facts. Officials estimate there to be around 47 million dementia sufferers across the world, with nearly 10 million new cases reported each year. In the US, the devastating disease, which is currently incurable, affects more than 5 million while 850,000 suffer in the UK. Diagnosing the disease earlier would offer hope of prescribing drugs when they are more likely to work, and encouraging lifestyle changes that can stave off dementia. One reason medications have so often failed in trials is they are given to patients when the devastating neurological illness has already taken hold. Alzheimer's disease, a form of diabetes? Insulin resistance speeds up cognitive decline. We are facing a tsunami of Alzheimer's disease. It's often said that the underlying causes of Alzheimer's disease are unknown, but there are numerous theories. For example, research suggesting that an infectious component is at play is becoming increasingly difficult to ignore. In addition to viruses, bacteria and fungi, an infectious protein called TDP43, which behaves like infectious proteins known as prions, responsible for the brain destruction that occurs in mad cow and chronic wasting diseases, has been linked to the disease. Research presented at the 2014 Alzheimer's Association International Conference revealed Alzheimer's patients with TDP43 were 10 times more likely to have been cognitively impaired at death than those without. Due to its similarities with mad cow disease, 
Investigators have raised the possibility that Alzheimer's disease may be linked to eating meat from animals raised in concentrated animal feeding operations CAFAs. Mounting research also suggests Alzheimer's disease is intricately connected to insulin resistance, even mild elevation of blood sugar is associated with an elevated risk for dementia. Diabetes and heart disease are also known to elevate your risk, and both are rooted in insulin resistance. Even mild insulin resistance speeds cognitive decline. According to Dr. David Perlmutter, a neurologist and author of Grain Brain and Brain Maker, Alzheimer's disease is primarily predicated on lifestyle choices, and anything that promotes insulin resistance, like a processed food diet, will ultimately also raise your risk of Alzheimer's. There's already plenty of evidence supporting this view, and new research strengthens the link between insulin resistance and dementia even further, particularly among those with existing heart disease. As reported by Reuters, having reduced sensitivity to insulin may lead to more rapid decline in memory and other mental skills in old age even among people who don't have diabetes, a recent study suggests. Our researchers followed 489 older adults for more than two decades. People with the highest levels of insulin resistance had the worst cognitive performance and the lowest scores on tests of memory and a mental skill known as executive function. There is growing evidence that insulin carries out multiple functions in the brain and thus poor regulation of insulin may contribute to accelerated cognitive decline and potentially to Alzheimer's disease, said senior S. Tutty author David Tani of Tel Aviv University in Israel. It is not just people with type 2 diabetes, Tani said, even people with mild or moderate insulin resistance who don't have type 2 diabetes are at increased risk over time. Tani gave the following advice to readers of Diabetes Daily. Exercising, maintaining a balanced and healthy diet, and watching your weight will help you prevent insulin resistance and, as a result, protect your brain as you get older. Alzheimer's disease, a form of diabetes? While the exact mechanisms are still unclear, insulin resistance appears to promote cognitive decline by adversely impacting the blood vessels in your brain, promoting the formation of plaques and hindering memory formation, as insulin was involved in your brain's formation of synaptic connections. Researchers have been aware of the link between insulin resistance and Alzheimer's for well over a decade. In 2005, Alzheimer's was tentatively dubbed type 3 diabetes when researchers realized that, along with your pancreas, your brain also produces insulin and related proteins, and that this brain insulin is necessary for the survival of your brain cells. Interestingly, while low insulin levels in your body are associated with improved health, the opposite appears to be true when it comes to brain insulin. Reduced insulin production in your brain actually contributes to the degeneration of brain cells, and studies have found that people with lower levels of insulin and insulin receptors in their brain often have Alzheimer's disease. According to researchers, these abnormalities do not correspond to type 1 or type 2 diabetes, but reflect a different and more complex disease process that originates in the central nervous system. Interestingly, late last year, Researchers at Johns Hopkins Department of Biology discovered that nerve growth factor, NGF, a protein found in your nervous system that is involved in the growth of neurons, also triggers insulin release in your pancreas. What's so remarkable about rosemary? If you've walked through the herbal section of a greenhouse, one fragrance you may detect is rosemary. A woody, perennial herb. Rosemary is related to other members of the mint family such as basil and oregano. Health Advantages of Rosemary Such historical anecdotes may have helped prompt scientists to compare the effects of essential oils, with commonly used antibiotics. One of the more recent studies found that rosemary and oregano oils resulted in the same amount of growth in chickens as the antibiotic of elamycin, and that the oils killed bacteria, too. Additional findings have shown that essential oils help reduce salmonella in chickens, and another study found that a blend of several oils can limit the spread of salmonella among animals. Science has churned out multiple studies to substantiate many of the early health claims of this fragrant herb, finding that besides being an excellent source of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds, benefits include enhanced memory and concentration, Scientists say they proved for the first time that the fragrance of rosemary enhanced memory during a study published in 2012 in Therapeutic Advances in Psychopharmacology. Diabetes Protection, Greek and Mexican oregano, marjoram and rosemary were determined to be a natural way to keep glucose levels in check. 
Neurological Defense, a review concluded that carnosic acid, in rosemary, may be useful in protecting against beta-amyloid-induced neural degeneration in the hippocampus. Prevents brain aging, carnosic acid, a compound in rosemary, was effective against brain aging in a Japanese study. Cancer protection, compounds in rosemary were reported to have anti-proliferative effects on leukemia and breast cancer cells. Another review reported it to be beneficial against inflammation, and tumor protective. Macular degeneration protection, carnosic acid was found to be a protective agent against this most common age-related eye-related problem in the U.S. The nutritional benefits and healing power of rosemary. A good source of calcium, iron and vitamin B6, rosemary also contains copper, magnesium, and potassium. It's an excellent source of fiber, vitamins A and C, folate, calcium and iron, as well. Manganese may be the most prominent mineral, working with an important antioxidant called superoxide dismutase, to decrease the risk of cancer, particularly breast cancer. Rosemary's numerous B vitamins include pantothenic acid, pyridoxine and riboflavin, and its folate content is necessary for DNA synthesis. Just prior to conception, many of the compounds in rosemary help prevent neural tube defects in newborns. Europeans often use rosemary to help with digestive troubles. Commission E in Germany even approved rosemary extracts as a bona fide treatment, even though anecdotal evidence, rather than scientific studies support that hypothesis. Alzheimer's and dementia have been extensively explored in the realms of conventional medicine, most often to find pharmaceuticals that can either prevent it or to boost memory. However, the results have never been deemed clinically significant. Can eating rosemary help you live longer? About 300 individuals, 100 years old and older, were found living in a remote Italian village. Scientists at first thought they lived so long because of their Mediterranean diet. However, rosemary was consumed regularly, and in large amounts in the centenarians' diets. According to coronary-slash-cardiac researcher Dr. Alan Meisel, who was given permission to research the village with a team of scientists, the impressive age factor may have been augmented by fresh mountain air or long hikes in the mountains, but previous studies on rosemary made it the probable reason for the extraordinarily long-lived seniors. Meisel noted, Rosemary contains an ingredient that fights off free radical damage in the brain. This active ingredient, known as carnosic acid, CA, can protect the brain from stroke and neurodegeneration that is due to toxins and free radicals which are thought to be one of the contributors to stroke and conditions such as Alzheimer's and dementia. The researchers established that the carnosic acid content in rosemary, activates a signaling pathway to protect brain cells from damage, but additionally, Caffeic acid and rosmarinic acid throw powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory support behind the other compounds in rosemary to reduce liver disease, heart disease and asthma. You might think of pine, when you detect a waft of rosemary. The scent comes from 1,8 cineol, a terpene also found in bay leaves, wormwood, sage and eucalyptus. It's the compound SC, scientists have used in dementia patients, which brings about increased surges of a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. In another review, researchers observed speed as well as accuracy, since the speed at which an individual is able to recall, is a useful predictor of cognitive function during aging. The scientists' overall conclusion gives a nod to the fact that higher concentrations of rosemary essence improves all the above. Rosemary precautions Rosemary has been reported to be safe in small amounts, but potentially problematic when used excessively. Side effects can include Vomiting Spasms coma, pulmonary edema, fluid in the lungs. Additionally, extremely large amounts may also cause miscarriage, so rosemary supplementation is not advised for pregnant women.